And today I'm going to be reviewing the SodaStream Jet. Uh, this is a soda maker. This is a new series on gaming at Tuna Max where we review gadgets and stuff that I collect or buy. And uh, this is a SodaStream Jet. It's a soda maker and it's awesome. It works really well. And you can also make uh, like carbonated water or whatever you want. It's awesome. You can also, people always again say you can make your own flavors. You can go ahead and do that if you want. I never do that. I'm not good at making things. Anyways, um, I can barely make this soda. But anyways, um, uh, this is a drip plate. Just in case you're wondering, it's it's uh, for water because water does spill off of that thing because this thing does go in the water. This right here holds the carbonator, which you do need to install. I'm not going to go over how to install it. It's very simple. You just kind of put it, it it's just a, you just screw it in. You don't use any tools. Just read the manual on how to put that in because I'm not going to take that out because I don't know what could happen. Anyways, here we've got some water. This is the standard soda stream bottle. You do need, they also have half liters. I think you do need to use a soda stream bottle. Um, you can't use your own to put in this because you have to use this, screw it in there. Um, so uh, I have I've had troubles screwing because I'm using the view, the viewfinder on my camera to put it in so it's a little bit harder so here's uh they, it comes with six sample packets i'm not going to be using those today because i bought three full-size flavors uh, we got some cola got some dr pete over here and we've got some root beer uh all three of these root beer dr pepper and coke um this one i haven't opened yet but i'm not going to actually even be using that today i'll probably make that another day I'm probably, and I'm going to use cola, because I like this one a lot. I also like the root beer one, too. It tastes a lot like root beer. <laughs> I guess it, is it, it's not called root beer. Well, okay. <clears throat> um, so you pretty much just uh, take the cap off. Push, push, hold on. Got There you go. I usually hold it like this to screw it in, because it's a little bit difficult. And it's a little bit harder to use this at an angle. So bear with me here. Did it. All right. Just get that in nice and tight. All right. Well, now there's a little button up here. You're just gonna press that down until you hear a loud buzz. Now my carbonator, being idiot that it is, it doesn't make that loud buzz. So I pretty much am guessing. I, this is a guessing game for me on how much it's carbonated. So you just press it down, and it's gonna carbonate. No, right about now you'd hear a carbon. You would hear a loud buzz, but. I don't, so I'm just going to keep on going a couple extra times. Alright, that's probably about how far I'm going to go. One more. Alright. Now all you have to do is press this in to release the excess CO2. You're going to hear that. Once you've heard that, just unscrew the bottle. Be careful because it does fall. Like out when it comes out and there will be excess water in there so make sure it's over the drip plate and now you've got your carbonated water we're just going to put that the cap back on until we're ready to put the flavoring in next you pretty much if you have the full size flavor you use the cap for measuring you use the uh the little packets just put the whole packet in so we're going to use cola today and i've already used it before it's pretty good okay you just put some into this cap. Um, you, there's a little fill line in there that I need to find. Okay. And you just fill it to there. Okay. Now, once you've filled it to the fill line, you uh, pour it in the puddle. And I do have a rag over there just in case I happen to mess up and it overflows, which it probably will. So um, just pour that in. Oh, it didn't spill this time. Yay. Okay. Just pour that in and now it looks all nice and unhealthy. Uh, <laughs> make sure all that's in there. All right, now we're going to put that to the side. And now you put the cap on. So nice and tight. And you just kind of gently back and forth do this. Don't shake it. Um, just gently back and forth do this. Like that. Okay, now it should be all nice and ready to use. It smells really, really a lot like Coke in here. 
from this. Um, so, let me just open it up. If you shake it, it's gonna like explode over and that sucks. So we're gonna try it. Yep, tastes like, tastes like Coke from the store. <laughs> a little bit warmer because it's been out for just like a couple minutes. Um, so, yeah, uh, the build quality on this thing is amazing for, you know, a plastic kind of built-in thing. Um, and also remember to pay attention to this. Do not put the flavoring in before you make the soda um, because it can mess it up. So that's about it. That's about all. Um, uh, you guys can go ahead and buy this. I don't know how much this costs really because, um, you know, you got a discount. So, um... Yeah, go ahead and buy yourself one if you want. There's also newer ones like the Genesis and a really fancy Timanthi one. They all work the same. There's really no difference, except some of them tell you how much carbonization you have left. Some of them don't. This one doesn't. You kind of just have to play the guessing game with this one. But um, the, the tr if you want to switch in your carbonator, you take it to any kind of store, Bed Bath Beyond, Walmart, Target, any kind of place, I think. They will switch it out with a new one. For I think close to thirty dollars or twenty dollars, I'm not sure. Twenty to thirty dollars, and then we'll place it for you. Um, it's, I think it's a little bit cheaper than just buying a new carbonator. So just go ahead and replace it. Don't don't buy a new carbonator every time. <laughs> so um, I keep hitting my hands on the table and it hurts. Anyways, that is it. Um, again, just before big things you should remember: always release the air before putting it out. Push this in. Also, remember to hear a loud buzz, but mine doesn't make a loud buzz. Hopefully, when I get a new carbonator sometime in the next year, it will make that loud buzz. It would help a lot, because I never know. This one is carbonated enough. I've just made a couple that weren't carbonated enough. I should probably put the cap back on that in a second. There you go, guys. It is done. Um, thank you guys for sticking around with me this long, and see you guys next time. Bye.